Welcome to this 15 minute power flow. We'll get started in a downward facing dog. So take your hands to the front of your mat, spread the fingers out nice and wide, and then relax the head and look through your feet. Press the floor away with the hands. Put a little bend into the knees and lift the sitting bones. Draw in the front of the ribs, the front of the abdomen, and continue to push the floor away as you now maybe start to straighten your knees a little bit. So give priority to your back being long. And if you need your knees to be bent for your back to stay long, then keep them bent. But if you can straighten your knees, then go ahead and straighten your knees. We'll hold here for about another 10, 15 seconds, starting to connect to our breath, to feel that we're breathing in through the nose and breathing out of the nose. for one last inhalation. And on the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step your right foot between the hands, the left foot follows and fold. Lift and lengthen the hands just below the knees, pull your chest forwards, exhale and fold all the way. Inhale up to standing, reach up, lift the gaze, exhale, Tadasana. Inhale, bend the knees, Utkatasana. Feet hip distance for now. We'll do it differently in a second. Now let your hips and sitting bones move down towards the ground while you continue to lengthen your fingertips up and the top of the skull up. You're drawing the navel to the spine. You're using your feet well, pressing all of the toes down and your heels down for now. One more breath. Exhale, fold all the way. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, hands to the mat. Take a light jump into plank. Hold your plank at the top, inhale. Pike your hips and lift into down dog, exhale. With the breath, inhale, shift forwards, plank. Shoulders on top of the wrists, inner legs active, as if you had a block between your legs and you were squeezing it to hold it in place. Lift the hips, downward facing dog. One more time, inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next time you come forwards into plank, hold your plank, inhale. Drop the knees, bend the elbows. Keep the elbows close to the body as you slowly lower down. Lift your chest, cobra. Pike the hips, downward facing dog. Hold it, inhale. Hold it, exhale. Bend the knees deep. Look forwards, take a light hop to the front of your mat. Lift and lengthen, inhale. Fold completely, exhale. Up to standing, inhale, reach up, lift your gaze. You're keeping your legs and glutes active. Exhale, Tadasana. Still with the feet hip distance, bend the knees, chair pose. Now have a quick look down at your knees. Don't let them come in, but keep them parallel and in line with the second toes. Hold, inhale. Exhale, fold forwards. Lift and lengthen, inhale. Hands just below the knees, back muscles active. Hands to the mat, this time we hop into Chaturanga. If that's not in your practice yet, you go into plank and then you lower with control. Cobra or upward dog. Downward dog, exhale. Hold it there, inhale. Exhale completely. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, light jump to the front of your mat. Lift and lengthen, inhale. Fold completely, exhale. Up to standing, inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, Tadasana. Feet together. Bend the knees, Utkatasana. Lift the heels, stay in Utkatasana. Toes, balls of the feet, press down actively. Inner heels, inner ankles, squeeze together. Hold it there, or wobble like me. Hold one more, inhale. Drop the heels and fold, exhale. Lift and lengthen, inhale. Hands to the mat, step or hop into your vinyasa. We meet in downward facing dog. We stay for our breath. And a long exhale. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, step or lightly jump, feet between the hands. Lift and lengthen, inhale. Fold completely, exhale. Up to standing, inhale, lift and reach. Tadasana, exhale. Bring your feet together. 
bend the knees with katasana. Lift the heels, squeeze inner legs, inner ankles, inner heels. Inhale, hold. Exhale, come all the way down to take a seat slowly without using your hands if possible. Lift the shins, Navasana. From Navasana, inhale. Separate your feet, keep your knees together, exhale. Hold, lift your chest, lift the top of the skull. One, inhale. Exhale, bring your feet together, your hands together. Inhale. Lower back to the ground, extend your legs forwards, reach with your toes to the front of your mat and come all the way back, Navasana. Separate your feet, keep your knees together, reach the arms towards your feet. Inhale. Exhale, feet together, hands together. Inhale here. Round your lower back, exhale, Ardha Navasana. Hold, one inhale, lift back, Navasana. Separate your feet. Keep your knees together, reach your arms towards your feet, inhale. One last time, feet together, hands together. A breath in, lower back down, feet together, they point forwards. You can do it, come back up, cross the shins, step back. You can step, you can jump, chaturanga or plank first, inhale. Down dog, exhale, hold. Steady breathing. Feel the power, the fire in your belly. One more breath. Bend the knees, look forwards. This time, step or jump into Malasana, so feet outside of the hands. Lift your chest, lengthen the spine. One, inhale. Fingertips down, feet parallel, exhale. Lift and lengthen, inhale. Fold completely, exhale. Up to standing, inhale, lift and reach. Tadasana, exhale. Keep the feet hip distance. Bend the knees into chair pose, reach the arms up. And then shift the body weight into your left foot. Take your right ankle on top of your left thigh and drop the right knee down towards the ground, keeping the right foot flexed. Hold here. One, inhale. Exhale, lift your right knee. Step back slowly into a high lunge. Arms up, inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Down dog, exhale. Hold. One more inhalation. Exhale, bend the knees, look forwards. This time you'll step or jump into a seated position. We'll sit with the legs crossed and then lift the shins. As you come up into boat pose, this time keep your feet together but separate your knees wide. Your arms are inside of your knees. Your hands, as if they were pushing something away, they reach up forwards. And with your knees, you're squeezing your arms. With your arms, you're pressing your knees out slightly. You're rounding through your back. You're drawing the belly button to the spine. This is your seated crow. Hold here for three. Feet together for two. Hold it there for one. Cross the shins, step or jump back into your vinyasa. Once you're right into down dog, take a breath in. A complete breath out. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, make no sound as you hop into malasana. Take a breath, inhale. Uttanasana, exhale, feet parallel, toes point forwards. Lift and lengthen, inhale. Fold completely, exhale. Up to standing, inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, Tadasana. Bend the knees, Utkatasana. Shift the body weight into your right foot, left ankle on top of the right thigh. Hold it there. Inhale. Lift your left knee, lightly step back into high lunge. Arms up, inhale. Hands down, Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra or up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. This time, take a breath into down dog. Complete exhalation. Inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, step or jump, Malasana. And then two options. Option one, 
Bakasana, balancing on your hands. Option two, seated Bakasana, like we did earlier, seated crow pose. So either crow pose balancing or crow pose seated, working the same shape, but seated. We hold for another three, for two, breathing in for one. We meet in downward facing dog. Hold down dog, inhale. Exhale completely. On your next inhale, come forwards for plank. Roll onto the outside edge of your right foot, inner arch of your left foot, side plank. Lift your left arm up. Lift your right side waist as high as you can off the floor. One inhale. Plank pose, exhale, both hands down. Inhale, plank. Outside edge of your left foot, inner arch of your right foot, right arm up. Lift the left side waist as high as you can. Inhale. Plank pose, exhale. Hold your plank, inhale. Lower to the ground all the way down. For, uh, reach your arms back, forehead to the ground. Palms are touching the floor. Take a breath in. Exhale, lift your head and chest. Press your palms down, press your feet down. Chin slightly tucked into the, towards the chest. Back body starts to feel strong and active. One inhale, exhale down. Inhale, lift your feet and thighs while keeping the head and the hands on the ground. Feel the back of your glutes, the back of your thighs, the bottom of your feet, all working together. Exhale, down. On the next one, we combine the two. Inhale, lift everything you can lift, including your hands, including your belly button. Your hands are facing down. Your fingers are reaching back. One, inhale, to the ground, exhale. Shift your arms forwards, forearms in front of you. So forearms are parallel to each other. Your palms touch the ground, your fingers spread. With the fingers, press down and pull in towards your chest. With your chest, reach forwards and through your arms. Inhale, Sphinx pose. Exhale, lift your abdomen, your pelvis, and your thighs. Now, magnetize your elbows towards your knees and your knees towards your elbows. Round your upper back and spread the shoulder blades away from each other. One more breath. Exhale, slowly roll the thighs, the pelvis, the abdomen down. Inhale, open your chest, Sphinx pose. Exhale, one more time, lift your abdomen, your pelvis, your thighs. Your tailbone is tucked, your elbows and knees are mag like magnets, attracting each other. Your upper back spreads and rounds. Last inhale, slowly roll the thighs, the pelvis, the belly down. Open your chest, inhale. This time, come all the way up onto your knees, tuck the toes, lift the knees into forearm plank, and in forearm plank, do the opposite. Reach forwards with your elbows and with your hands. Energetically pull the mat forwards and reach back with your feet. Energetically pull the mat back with your feet. Hold it. We'll go straight into side plank. Roll onto the outside edge of your right foot, inner arch of your left foot. Left arm to the sky, right side waist lifts as high as you can. Hold it there, breathe. Come back to center, forearm plank, and then drop onto the other side. Right arm up, bottom side of the waist lifts, super, super high. You're almost there, we're almost done with our 15 minutes power flow. Short and sweet, but powerful. Forearms down, forearm plank, and then walk your feet in. Dolphin pose, we hold for a few breaths. Relax the head, but don't let the head touch the floor. So you want to really push down with your forearms, push down with your palms, with your fingers, and feel that there is space for your head not to be on the floor. One more breath, dolphin. Exhale, knees down. Sit on the heels, child's pose. With your hands, reach back to your heels. Relax the forehead down. Rest. If 15 minutes is all you have today for your practice, well done. Well done for getting on the mat, moving. If you are continuing with your practice, enjoy it. I'm going to leave you here. 
say thank you for being here and please subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it with friends and I will see you again soon. Well done.